Hey guys, what is up? This is Panzer Dragon aka Luigi Dragon, and today we'll be doing a Zin Zhao jungle and f introducing a new Riggles Lantern. Okay, well, it's not really new. It was in 4.4 patch. Yeah, 4.4. And in now 4.5, it introduces the new Feral Flame. Um, I guess. No, I'll go in detail right away up now. So basically, Feral Flame right now is a late game ish item because what's going to happen is you can't really get that item uh, during. Uh, during the game or, or mid and early, because you won't be, because remember that to get Feral Flame, you have to do 25 large monsters, and doing 25 large monsters is really hard. Um, you, that because because in mid game and early game, you won't be farming the jungle. You'll be actually team fighting more and trying to just do a bunch of objectives and be grouping mid game, right? So that's why it's really hard to get. So that's why I consider it a late game item unless you're a really heavy farm jungle like Master Yi and Strindamir, but on it works best Rigo's Lanterns works best on auto attack champions because um what is it? Yeah, because it gives attack speed, it gives it just procs your attack uh your out it gives a hundred damage on minions so you can just clear them better. And yeah, you guys get that general idea. Um what else is there to say? Uh I guess it does live the same amount of gold, or maybe higher or lower, it depends on how much you farm. On Zin, it's actually a really good item, but the problem with Zin is that you can't really uh, make it efficient enough because he is a ganking jungler and not a farm jungler. If Zin is farming the jungle, there's something that matter. So that's um, so that's why you gotta keep uh, ganking. Um, so that's why you get your regos later than you, everyone else. I mean, his clears are AOE, right? So that's why, or not AOE, except the Z. And sometimes it's really hard to use your E on camps because, uh, what is it? Because it does cost a lot of mana. And without blue buff, you won't have a lot of mana. So that's why it's really bad to use it if you don't have blue buff. Um, and you just have to rely on your W and Q and your auto decks for him to clear. And like I said, his only AoE is his E. Yi and Trindamir both have his their uh, spin slash alpha strike, so they don't have a problem with going oom. Okay, and also in this case, um, you see I did start Q and E, but that was just for the level 2 gank, but if you ever do gank a level 2, I sincerely recommend you guys taking W first and then getting E second, as the knockup is, is fine, but Honestly, all you need is more attack speed. Your, your W gives you more attack speed and damage, and mo you can proc the red buff more if you just have W and E up. So, anyways, I'm looking to do it this Fido. Um, it probably won't happen, but I'm waiting for something. Once he gets out of position, I can get in here, and I'm going to go straight on Fido, but Fizz did use his... Uh, uh, Hecarim does come for a counter gank, so here... Um, that is bad. I have to immediately get out. We are both weaker than 2v2. And also, yeah. Um, second, I didn't burn my flash because I know I didn't need to. Uh, unless I felt the need to at the time, but that's good. Uh, I didn't blow it. So right here, I'm just going to farm this up. And yeah. Um, so like I said, uh, Zin has to be a heavy gank jungler. So I'm just trying to look for those ganks, uh, gankarinos, and I'm looking at top, but... Oh wait, no, I can't be ganking right now, I'm pretty low on health, as half health ganking is bad, as you, most laners do have ignite, so you will be bursted down first and probably die, so right here I do try and look for farm and gankarinos, so let's see this, I don't think we can get this gankarino unless I flash onto him or something. And I'm just looking for the Gankarino, I'm just gonna get my ass because I, I don't want to get close into there um, because one, he's a bit close to the tower, and two, a bit low, so I don't want to give him more gank uh, damage onto him. Let's see. So, I do get my Big Giant's Boots and some Pots and Wards. And I am. Look, I do have Smite, but the fiddle is extending right now, and he's level 6, and. Okay, so I thought I was gonna gank. But. Uh, I guess I want to use my smite before ganking, and to get level five. That's why. Uh, but I did, I did miss a little opportunity. I, I listen. I can't, I can't pronounce it. I missed an opportunity to gank fiddle, because now he's MIA and yeah, blah blah blah. I wish we could turn on Ninja Ken. I mean, uh, Hack Room, but um, at the moment, 
it's kind of hard. Uh, I thought Fizz was f still 5, and I didn't think he was coming. I also thought Fiddle couldn't use his level 6 to kill us all, so it might have been a bad fight. Um, I'd have to look at it better, but... I did look at everyone's position on the map better, but uh, we'll just ignore that fact. So, I do see Fizz and Fiddle killed each other. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show up the lane because um, the middle lane is going to lose all the XP. So he's going to lose all this XP right there and look, no one's even getting it. That's five creeps. Um, every good jungler knows that they should cover to get that XP. So yeah. And I want to do Dragon because mid, both mids were down and our bot was winning really hard and while the bot, other bot lane cannot contest because they were chunked. But um, they do die. Um, yeah, they do die somehow. Uh, they died because uh, someone got grabbed in the tower or something, I don't remember, but yeah, our bot lane was winning way ahead, but they somehow just threw that uh, lead away. But anyways, um, we could have done dragon, but I guess they died. Um, as you can see, I was I was contemplating, I was, you know how I was like circling this? It's because I was thinking of shoving it out, but I just know that since there's... Uh, this minion wave is shoving into our team. The enemy team is gonna. The enemy bot lane is losing so much XP, so much gold. Like they're just missing so much, and that is a big, huge advantage for our bot lane. So there's no point in me shoving out. I mean, it would be good for me if I shoved out singularly, but why should I? There's no reason to. Um, and I can just let my bot lane snowball off that really one kill. Um, top lane does get a double kill on to. Hecarim and Aurelia. Uh, okay, so don't dive Trundle because if his ultimate is up, if his ultimate is up, he literally becomes super uber, and he's got so much sustain and like he gets so tanky. It's a bad idea to dive Trundle with his ult up. If you can bait his ultimate somehow and retreat, you can literally win. So Fiddle does roam bot, and I want to come bot and help him, but uh, I think I was looking to look if their red was up. Because I remember Ninja Ken or uh, Hecarim was top, so I was looking to try and snipe that. Um, I actually didn't see this pink ward, and Fizz did, and I was we could have actually to read three them, but Fizz isn't in here in time, and he took, decided to take the pink ward. That's fine. Right here, I'm gonna have to go this way and go through the top lane bush, bot lane bush. Uh, I don't want to go through the corners because uh, I would get triple pincer gang banged, so I would also die. And that's the reason. Damn. Why can't I find any ganks this game? It's really hard for me. I don't like that. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, Aruni. Uh, let's see. Can, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Like so. I'm looking for a good position. Okay, now he's out of position. Let's get the hell in there. Gank Aruni. Okay, Gank Aruni. Shut this wave out. And we're out of there. So I'm looking at top lane and see Trundle's ultimate is look at this, how long he's surviving. Damn, it's really long. And yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> so like if I come for a counter gank, we definitely 2v2. Look, now she can dive in because she has a lot of ult her ultimate, I guess. But uh, I don't know, she didn't use the ultimate in her gank. Okay, but any uh, I mean the kill? Whatever. Um in the gank, yeah. But I'm not sure why it's up. Anyways. Um, I guess the second time they actually learned to kill kill him when his ultimate is down. So, um, I guess that's called adaptive play. That's what you call adapting to play uh, champions that you don't really know. Anyways, where's Trundle? I actually want to look at this. What's his ultimate? So it does twenty percent of maximum. Okay, so it does still do half immediately and half over four seconds. So that so I thought it, so it is a burst. So here, I am looking to gank the uh, cover bot lane, but it is gonna die, and Fiddle might be dead. So I say no, I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna go somewhere else, and we do see that we did see Fiddle exit this way, so we know that um, me and Fizz could go gank Reno this way and cut him off and just pincer him uh, before he gets away. Um, so that's how we knew we could kill him. And we did get the catch, and right here, ooh, that's a good catch. And he does get away, that's fine. Um, that just means he's also chunked. I forgot how he got really low on hit point, but this means it's also a free dragon, or whatever. Uh, I really want Fizz to come. He is low on mana, and he should not be fighting a red buff hack room with no ultimate slash mana. 
I mean, I guess he got really entirely true that he was happy that... <laughs> what the hell am I saying? Okay, he has Ignite, so I think he thinks he can kill a ninja... Uh, hacker him. Um, but like, really? Uh, you shouldn't do that, I guess, without ultimate slash map. But anyways, we do get the dragon. I calculate the smite with my E, so we do... Oh uh, yeah, I smite, I smite plus E combo the dragon to just to secure it. So I was reading hit point of all my damages plus uh, smite everything, and I calculated and I got the smite. Um, and Lucian does get the kill somehow. So here it is. I'm looking at the gank top because Chandler is coming. Um, and I had no mana, so I had to do the golems first to get some mana. And I didn't want to use a lot of mana, so I think I just used my W, uh, as I want to conserve it for the rally I gank. And here I am, looking at top lane, saying, hey, let's push it out. Um, I don't have to be at bot lane anymore, because Dragon's not there. So we can definitely, I just don't want to shove it out also, um, because I had nothing better to do. And, um, what's, what else is there? It also kind of forces the other jungler to come, and also forces the enemy laner to lose that 6 CS. I think that's good. Help her shove it out. <clears throat> Where's Fizz? Oh, I think he died. I didn't know that. I guess that's why I covered mid. So, let's see. So, it looks like there's going to be team fights. No. Oh, okay. So, I see Fiddle's heading down. We see this. And he's going to try and cut them off. He doesn't know I'm coming this way. We generally kind of collapse on him because this is really easy to collapse on Fiddle as he is relatively squishing by himself. And he does get bursted down. And. Oh. So he does get in, but as you see, I knocked those two away. Let's, okay, I slowed that down, but it's too late to slow down. And I do, I knocked those two away. Get the hell out of here. And I see that Triss jumps in like a retard. Which I don't know why every Triss does it. But yeah, I immediately go on her, and I do flash the Hecarim ultimate. Uh, so I don't get knocked back into their team. You know how fear the Hecarim's ultimate works. I'm not to explain it to you. And as you can see, Fizz does come down for the roam. He's going to kill everyone. Yum, 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 yum. And Hecarim's going to try and 1v1 our Lucian. Or trying to, actually, no, I guess he's just trying to get away. But I'm still going to stick onto him, and I'm just going to... Yeah, just get uh, just stick onto him and collapse onto him. We had a warden there, and we're trying to look at how many kills can we get. Anyways, we are three men. We tell Fizz to go mid. We don't need him anymore. He's gonna just push on mid and farm. Actually, wait. Hmm, hmm. I actually want to see this. If he stayed, could we have gotten this tower? This is a an analogy by me. If he stayed, let's see. Fizz should be the only one there. Trust would be late. Fizz stayed. That tower would have gone sooner. Hmm. I think we could have gotten it if Fizz stayed. Because, yeah, Fizz didn't even get his tower, so it's not worth. Okay. Okay, this is just helping me have better knowledge of the game. I think we could have got it down. But yeah, we just shove it out really fast, back as soon as possible. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, definitely, if we sticked four man bot, we could have got a bunch of towers and they couldn't defend. Hmm, okay. Makes sense. So, as you see, Hecarim is getting dove in. I mean, uh, Trendle's getting dove in three people. This tower is low. Am I going to rescue him? No, I'm just going to clear this wave. And, yeah, I'm not going to defend. This tower is undefendable right now. Undefendable. And I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it so hard. I'm like, nope, tower is low. Um, I have to head somewhere else, do something productive. So I take these golems. And I'm gonna head middle because I see Hecarim is roaming middle. So, okay, so. Yeah, they do go on uh, Lucian. He's gonna try and kite them out. And we're here for backup and we're gonna try and kill whoever the squishier one is or whoever got focused. So, as you can see, we do focus the people who jumped in and just try and kill them both. We do get the kills. And as you can see, Zindal, the power of the Hauser, gets both of the kills. So, we do get those kills. And right here, I'm just gonna shove out try and shove up mid and some pressure on the tower and I don't play against Fiddle so I do get smashed and really actually does come fear is pretty dumb I don't like fear and yeah I do get collapsed on I guess maybe if I saw that sweeper I should think who has a sweeper and then I should be like oh it is Fiddle Fiddle has a sweeper and then I'll be like oh oh I didn't have to die so now my 403 is gone to a 4-1 and well sad day. 
So, as you can see, my build, let's talk about my build, I am going Randuins. Uh, is there a reason why I'm going Randuins? They do have an auto attacker, her name is Aurelia. They do have another auto attacker, her name is Tristana. And they do have Hecarim, who does a lot of AD damage, so uh, the point is, um, if we do go Randuins, I should really want Merc Treads right now for that fiddle, it's annoying. So I'm looking to get this Thresh. Um, he gets too close for my E in, and I thought I hit my ultimate onto fiddle too to knock him away, and to get that buff and damage, but I guess I didn't. So I do use my Randuins, pop it. I'm probably still gonna die. I popped my flash earlier somewhere, I don't remember where. And I just try and go on uh, Hecarim, do as much damage as I can. And our team is going to go ham and just damage everyone here. And oh man, look at this damage. This Trundle though, is look at him, he's just tanky, spanky, everything. Our Blitz dies and they're gonna try and get the kill. They do get the kill. And that is good. So this, since that is an ace, they're gonna get a free dragon. And yeah, um, really, that Thresh just gave me a free E in for some reason. Uh, he should have just kept backing up. I don't know what the hell, uh, why he backed up, but uh, okay, it's fine with me. Oh, uh, prioritize on any mistakes. So what I'm gonna build next is probably an Agus right now. Uh, as I do have enough armor for everyone else. The only one that is doing magic damage is Fiddle, and that AoE armor MR will probably help our team from getting shred by the Fiddle ulti. And you will see how big that Fiddle ulti is actually, I mean, how much less damage the Fiddle ulti does when I get the Agus. You'll see that in a bit. Okay, so. So. There will be another team fight. As it's gonna come up somewhere. I, is this on slow mo? This feels like on slow mo. Okay, so direct the camera. They go on uh, Fizz. Fiddle's ulting in. I try and focus him as soon as possible. And I'm gonna take so much damage. I have no idea how it's going on. I'm trying to focus whoever the hell I am. I'm already deep in. I'm just trying to damage, put out my damage on whoever is out there. And I actually ulted. I actually tried to burst down Fiddle as fast as possible. If I, I didn't know that he had uh, Zonias, so I thought we could burst him down. Instead, I just sat him in. What I should have done is just knocked him away. I mean, actually, the team fight is really wonky. I think everyone wants to sit in. Even Blitz was in there. I have no. I don't think Trundle was there, but yeah, basically, Fizz died, and he was already in the front line, and we we're all just trying to dive in onto Fiddle's ulti. Um, Aurelia. Yeah, it's almost died, but Thresh saves her with the hook. Oh, the, yeah. But you'll see me use the ultimate better uh, as once our team gets a bit of better positioning. Uh, I actually didn't hit anyone but Fiddle. Yeah, like I said, I want to burst him down with the ultimate. So that's why I only hit one person. Honestly, this ultimate. Uh, I wish I could get a 5 man ultimate. You know how super tanky I would be? I'd be just, like beast mode in the Anyways. So this Agus I do have. And we did get the jungler. We saw that Triss was bought. So we're deciding to do this Baron. Um it should be fairly easy as I am tanky enough. Um the Riggles will do some damage and I'm gonna just uh hip hip get some hit point off it so I can start it. And so Fiddle does come in. I have to jump right in there. He does fear me. Look at this. Aurelia jumps right on me because she thinks she's going to burst me. But I still have my ulti to knock her away. So I use my ulti to burst her away. I see that Triss jumped in again for some reason. So I'm going to just jump right onto her. And uh, we're just going to try and get a bunch of kills as we can. The, honestly, the contest with Baron is you have to turn if they come. You can't keep focusing it. If, especially if the Baron is at more than 2,000 health. There's no point in doing it. We're to contemplate them it, doing it, but um, there's no point to do it. So, I mean, we take the kills. We're not going to do the Baron again. There's no point. Um, we're too low. Hecarim is going to probably 1v4. And then he can stall alt uh, the team fight because he's Hecarim. He's got a lot of mobility. And, yeah, he's not going to do it thing to the Baron, or when we're all that low, but hmm, I, look, I went from half point to one fourth, I think my W's doing that, but I'm not sure. So I'm building more armor because again, Aurelia, Hecarim, and Trist, uh, that fiddle is really nothing, he's nothing right now to me, as I do have the Agus, 88 MR is all I need for fiddle, uh, my team is kind of ignoring, going to be ignoring them, as his ultimate 
will do not much since I have Eggus. Uh, okay, that's kind of a lie. I think I'm just. Wait. Okay, whatever. Look how much this dragon does. Look how much this dragon does. Even with Riggles and all this sustain for my W, I'm still taking a lot of damage. I guess it's because I don't have an Elder Lizard weapon. I mean, I don't have a spirit weapon to just give me hit point and mana. Or. Yeah. Wait, no! The Riggles does give, uh. Oh, it heals 10 health. It heals 10 health. Okay, whatever. That's. Okay, that's like two Darn's Blades. Okay. That's cool. Anyways, um. Watch this. So I do have the Feral Flare. It gives me 33 magic damage on hit. Uh, that's kind of cool. Gives me some attack speed. Um. I, I just got this item. If you notice, I got it at 27 minutes. Uh, look at level 1. I'm level 15, for God's sakes. And I don't like having a... Like, a jungler at this time is usually level 13, 14. Actually, no. I guess you can be 15 or 14. I'm getting... I'm ahead. So is the other Hecarim. And, yeah, we should be, like, level 13 if we didn't have this much kills. Um, but honestly... Like, yeah. I don't like having it at this point. I wish we had it when I'm earlier when I had when I build around it was like wish I had it but yeah it's hard to get it um, just because of the uh, slow uh, cramp that amount of camps you have to do so anyways the team fight is gonna erupt soon see how fiddle is ulting in I'm gonna get him away by using my ultimate just brush him away and try and disengage on him and I'm looking to peel f dive in with uh, fizz but now I see the opportunity to dive onto Fiddle, I see that he's vulnerable, so I'm gonna go right on Fiddle, and I do get feared away. Next one, I'm probably trying to look at Triss, looking at Aurelia, and she does stun me, she does get away. That's fine, we can get a lot of. I do flash out because the towers were targeting me, so I have to get out. And Lucian's really fed, and he's gonna. Yeah, so it's, we just grab Triss for free, and our Lucian is just gonna sustain up, so we can definitely siege these two towers, and. Uh, we do have Trundle to tank everything for us if we needed, as I am low hit points. So, uh, this looks like a win. This is an ace. Headcrim is coming up in 4 seconds. Look, this Nexus is being bursted down. So, there's no problem. Well, we do get the Nexus and the game. Hey, I am Hansar Dragon, aka Luigi Dragon. Thank you for watching. This is a Zinzaro commentary, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.